I'm going to show you an example of how to use an add-on called Form Mule. This is an example of a form that I've used at Back to School Night to have parents sign in. Once they sign in, I want an email to be automatically sent to their email account that will include a, a message welcoming them to the class, as well as a link to my class website where they can find all homework, classwork, assignment due dates, etc., as well as a copy of the slideshow that they would have seen at back to school night. That way they don't have to worry about taking notes, they'll have everything sent to them in their email. So the way that we do this, first if I go over to the actual form, here I'm in the editing view and you can see that I just created the form. Now what I need to do is I need to go to the response spreadsheet for this form. So I'm going to click on view responses and then now I'm in the actual spreadsheet. No one has filled out this form yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to add-ons in my menu and here I'm going to choose formula. I have already added formula to my add-ons. What you'll need to do if it's the first time you've used it, you're going to go down to the bottom where it says get add-ons and then you're going to search for formula. It's all one word, there's no space, and then you'll have it added to your add-ons. Now, since I'm in add-ons, I'm going to click on formula and then I'm going to choose launch. The first step when running Formule is to set up what is going to cause the email to merge. I need to choose the sheet that contains the email addresses and merge source data. So that's my spreadsheet that the parents' um, information gets filled out to. If you look down here at the bottom, I only have one spreadsheet on this um, document, on this file. So it's Form Responses 1. So I'm going to choose in my select sheet Form Responses 1. Now there are two ways to cause this email merge to be triggered. One of them is by time, so if you want it to check every Monday at two o'clock, you can. Or you can do form trigger. So once a form is submitted, it will automatically send that email. So this is the choice I wanna make. I'm gonna turn this on. There's some advanced things that you can do on form submit, which you could read here. One thing that is, if you have formulas, that are in any of your um, spreadsheet cells, you can have those formulas be pushed down or copied down because during form submission, the formula doesn't get moved to the next row. So you can use the add-on copy down. Um, that again is for more advanced features. For this, we don't need that. All we need to do is turn on our form trigger and press next. Here you have the option to set the number of email templates and your send conditions. Now, I'm only going to send one email, but you can have, based on what people fill out, maybe if they choose first period, a specific email goes out to first period only. If they choose second period in the period column, then it will send a separate email. So you can set that up with your merge conditions. So here I'm gonna call it template one, but I could call this first period, for example. And then I'm gonna send it for all rows because I want this to be sent out for every single form submission. But again, if you were doing the more advanced features, I can choose any of my columns. So I can say class period. If I chose class period, I can say equals one. So my first period template would go out if class period equals one. But again, I'm do, keeping it simple right now, so I'm gonna send this for all rows. Notice I can't click Next, because what I need to do first is save my template settings. Now I can choose Next Edit Templates. Okay, now this is kind of the fun part where we can build and preview our templates. So in the To column, or in the To space, I want to send my emails to the parent's email address. So over here on the right, I have my merge tags, and these are my different columns from my spreadsheet. So the parent email was, I think this one here, the third one down. So I'm gonna choose parent guardian email address, and you can see that that was the correct one. Since it's in those little brackets, that means that it's going to replace this with the actual email address. It's gonna pull it from the spreadsheet. My subject can be anything you want it to be. I'm gonna call it back to school night or welcome to biology, whatever you want it to be. Now in the text of my body, I want it to be specific or customized. So I'm gonna say, and 
I don't have a place for Mr. or Mrs., so I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I'm going to say dear, and then I'm going to say parent first name, which I think was my first one here, and it was. So it says dear parent guardian first name, colon, and then it has the parent guardian first name in the brackets. Remember that the brackets are what get replaced with the actual information from the spreadsheet. So when you are putting in information, the merge tags, into the body paragraph, it kind of gives you the text and then the merge tag. Now, I don't really want it to say dear parent guardian first name and then have their first name. I just want it to be dear first name. So I'm gonna delete that extra text. So it says dear parent guardian first name. And then I wanna have a space and then I want the last name. So I'm gonna click on the parent guardian last name. And again, all I want is the merge information. So I'm going to delete that extra wording. So it says, dear parent guardian first name, I have one space, and then I have the last name. Then I want to have a comma, and I'm going to press return. Now I can start typing in the text. And I actually have some text that I'm just going to copy and paste in. So I said, thank you for attending back to school night. I enjoyed meeting you this evening, blah, blah, blah. Here is the link to the presentation used tonight. So I want the link to not just be a big, long Google Doc link. I want the link to actually be hyperlinked, where it says, here is the link. So notice on the left, it says HTML friendly. What I can do, so if I go to this link, I can see this HTML right here. I'm going to copy and paste this back into my spreadsheet. And it's here is the link. So I'm going to do it right before the link. So it says, here is a href blah, blah, blah. In quotations, it says URL. I need the URL of the link to the document. And I can paste this big, long URL. I'm just going to replace URL with the link to my document. Then it says link text. I want that link text to say the link. and then I'm going to get rid of the link afterwards. So what this is going to do is it's going to say in this paragraph, here is the link to the presentation used tonight. But the link is actually going to be hyperlinked. So when the parents click on that hyperlink, it will take them to this URL, which is the URL to my shared Google Sideshow that they would have seen at Back to School Night. Next, I'm actually going to add some more information. So I'm going to go back. I have this copied. I'm going to copy the rest of my text of my email. And here it says I post all assignments, homework, due dates, blah, 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 on my class website, misshero.org. I want this to also be a hyperlink. So again, I'm going to go back to my HTML friendly, which I already have open. I'm going to copy this HTML syntax. I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and right where it says my website, misshero.org, I'm going to paste in that HTML. The URL for my website is going to go right here where it says URL. So I'm going to type in the, H the URL and then for my link text, I want that to actually be misshero.org. So I want them to see the name of my website, but I want to make it easy so that they can click on it too. So where it says link text, I'm going to paste in uh, misshero.org. So now this paragraph will say I post all my assignments, homework, due date on my class website, misshero.org, which will be hyperlinked. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to email me. I'm going to add some spaces. Um, and I can translate this to another language. I'm going to choose Spanish because most of my parents who speak a second language speak Spanish. So I'm using the two-digit Google code for Spanish. You, If you're looking for other languages, just Google Google's um, language codes and you'll find the two-letter code. Most of them are two letters. So now when I preview this, it still does not look pretty. Okay, it says parent, email address, whatever, but it's not actually showing me what the email is going to look like. So it still has this weird HTML in it. 
but what we can do now is actually test it out by filling out our form. So I'm going to click on the X to close out the form mule. It's still there. You can see it says template one send status, but we need to actually fill out the form. So I'm going to go back to my form. Here it is, and I'm just going to fill it out as if I was a parent. Now that I've filled out the form, you can see that over here it has the form data and it just filled out the template. It says an email was sent to mhero to my email address and it was translated to Spanish. Now I can go over to my email and hope that I got an email here. Here it is. There's an email from me saying welcome to biology. Dear Melissa Hero, etc., etc. But it, you can see it says here is the link to the presentation used tonight. And if I click on that, it will open up the Google Slideshow. If I go back to my email and it asks about homework, blah, 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 here's the class website. If I click there, it will bring me to the class website. And it's all translated automatically into Spanish, which is pretty cool. If you ever need to go back and make edits to your templates, or if you need to add more templates or change the merge conditions, all you do is go back to add-ons and then form mule. And then here in the setup, you can again choose your source data or the merge type, set the number of emails or build or preview templates. So you have more information as well as help here that you can use.